so as in the last lecture we learnt about the variables and comments today we will learn about mathematical operators maths operators so basically we have the most common operators as add subtract multiply and then divide similarly these symbols are used in python as plus minus multiplication and division to perform this mathematical operators in python so there are more operators which can be used in python which is modulus it returns the remainder caused by the division so this symbol returns the quotient of the two numbers this is the exponent means returns the power gives the power so basically these are operators let's call it op and the format to use this operators is let a and a and b be any numbers then the format to use this is a operator b means a plus b or a minus minus b or a a raised to b this will give us the raised to so we will perform some mathematical calculation using these operators so let comment this out using control backslash in sublime text so let's take a variable a and assign it to the value of 9 and take a variable b uh, and assign it to value of 6 so let's print the let's print the output of addition of a plus b we will get 15 as 9 plus 6 is 15 if we copy this and change the symbol to minus then we get 3 similarly you can perform any number of calculation let's divide a by b we will get 1.5 always this divide returns as a float value it never returns an integer value as 9 divided by 6 is 1.5 if we change this to 9 and 3 then we will get 3.0 3.0 wins which is a float so remember always the divide function returns us the float value so for multiplication 3, 9 3 is a 27 let's print modulus it will give us 0 as 3 is completely divided by 9 if we take is as 10 then we get 1 as 3 into 3 9 and remainder is 1 so if we print the quotient using double black slash we will get quotient as 3 as 3 3 is a 9 plus 1 this is the remainder so for the power function 9 raised to 3 so we will get 729 as cube of 9 is 729 so we can also use here a and b instead of that so 
so as 10 raised to 3 is 1000 so if we calculate a sum of a and b and we store it into the we can store any data in the variable so we will store a plus b and now and now print this sum value print sum so you will get 10 plus 3 13 this is the sum 